Again, this weekend looks pretty quiet. Maybe a 10% coverage coming up on Saturday. Sunday, maybe a 10% coverage. Then on Monday, I'll give it a 30% coverage triangle and about a 60% coverage in the lakes area. These chances will be going up through the day. Tuesday looks wet, as you can see, pretty good coverage. And then Wednesday, behind the front, dry. At least that's the way it looks right now. That's what I got to work with. Looking at uh, mostly clear skies out there right now in the Exceptional Emergency Center Sky Cam, part of the Roofing 911 Sky Cam Network. And that should be Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Looking at, well, extremely high levels of uh, mosquito activity. As uh, remember, dusk and dawn are the prime times for uh, getting bit. So don't forget the repellent. Nothing out there right now, and we're looking at mostly clear skies. Currently, we're at 83 over in Bevel Oaks. Bill's reporting 83 in Port Arthur. MJ Pontegra at 84. Orange, it's 82 degrees. Further to the north in Woodville, Travis at 83. Jim Monk and Warren at 80, and over in Jasper, currently 81. Across the state, it's warm, it's humid, it's hot in some spots like Dallas. Del Rio, Laredo, El Paso, and back over into West Texas. Temperatures 84 in College Station. Austin's at 83. 83 in Houston right now, by the way. Otherwise, you could see the showers and storms that were low end scattering across the state are winding down. These are what we call diurnally driven, driven by the instability and heating provided by the sun and with the sun setting, there goes your instability and heating. No disturbance is really over southeast Texas. Courtesy of high pressure building on in, it'll be here coming up through Saturday, then start weakening on Sunday. And then we watch that significant trough moving on through the Midwest. And again, I fail to see how a cold front cannot make it into the Gulf of Mexico with that kind of a push straight out of Canada into southeast Texas. It'll be interesting to see what happens uh, as we work on into, say, Tuesday night into Wednesday. Otherwise, again, quiet weather in the tropics now through the next five days. That could be coming to an end in about seven days. Tonight looks quiet. We're looking at mostly clear skies. Low temperatures will be dropping into the mid to upper 70s tomorrow. Let's see. Yeah, we'll go at 10% coverage tomorrow. On the Gulf of Mexico, slightly choppy seas around 1 to 2 feet in your coastal marine forecast. A west and southwest wind at 5 knots. Water temperature 87. Tonight, mostly clear, warm and humid. Lows mid to upper 70s. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, a 10% coverage. High temperatures mid 90s, but again, it's the humidity. That's where we get that 107 to maybe 110 across the area. Saturday and Sunday, hot, humid, mainly dry, heat advisory tomorrow, heat index near 110 again on Sunday. Monday, a 30% coverage triangle, 60% coverage in the lakes, but again, that 30% coverage will leap upwards as the front starts moving on in. And as you can see, a good chance of rain as we have that front working on in and off into the Gulf of Mexico. And that means drier air. And look at this, humidity levels tank coming up on Thursday, and that means cool nights, beautiful afternoons with lower humidity.